and welcome to your Insta Shapes class today. We are going to get started behind the hammock. So come on behind the hammock. You're welcome to watch me through for this first round um, and then jump on with me for the second round. This is quite an involved sequence. Um, so I recommend watching me through this first round. I'll just demonstrate. Use this as a demonstration and then we can jump in together. So we're gonna start at the back. I'm just gonna quickly go through it first and then we'll go through it together. So stepping at the back of an open hammock, I'm gonna grab that front edge. If you don't have a puppy in front of you, this is a little easier. Hopefully he moves soon. And then we're going to uh, bring this, this right hand to keep grabbing onto the fabric or that fabric at the front. It's gonna come around the outside, through the center, switch hands. Bring it into the left fingers and bring it to the front and over to the left. Eventually this will look smoother the more that you practice it. We're basically creating a little wrap around our torso area. This is our first shape right here. Reaching up with that right hand, opening up with that left hand. Smile, pose. You can bring that left foot out. You can also make a shape, little shape here by bending that left knee out wide, keeping the same arms, right hand up, left hand out wide. This is gonna feel a little bit difficult, but bear with me. It's gonna tighten the wrap around the belly, which is why we have a nice long hammock. If the hammock's short, it's gonna be even tighter. So we're gonna bring the left toes inside of the fabric, thinking about the toes coming into the fabric instead of the heel. making sure that you're comfortable right here with that left foot inside of the hammock. And then we can play with this shape for a moment. So you can press that left hand out wide. This is our second shape. We're then gonna come into a straddle shape. So shoulders will come to the front and you're just gonna widen that bottom leg out wide a little bit. So lift it up. And we're gonna keep grabbing on with the left hand. Right hand's gonna release. It's our third shape. Optional fourth shape is to twist the, the hips into more of a split. As you keep hanging on with that left hand, you can reach the right hand forward. The right hand's gonna come up for an overhand grip. Both hands grip overhead. You're gonna lean the hips forward as that right foot goes back. And then you can release the left hand as the right hand keeps gripping. Fifth shape, <laughs> so many shapes. Both hands grip up and come back into your straddle. You're gonna bring the left shoulder behind as your legs come into a straddle shape. We're then gonna turn our hips to the, to the top. So both hands are gonna rip up, grip up. Your right leg's gonna come out of the fabric and step in to meet where the left foot is. You're then gonna grab, so they've got like a triangle shape between the hips and the feet. You're then gonna grab the back piece of the fabric, which you can't see in the camera, Bring it into your hand and start to lean back, creating a sailboat shape. And this is very tight around the waist. You'll bring your left foot out, knee into the chest. So you can grab your ankle and kick your foot into your hand as you reach that right hand overhead, opening up the hammock. To come out, you'll grab onto the hammock to pull up, bring your left foot onto the ground release the right foot out as well. Whew. Alrighty. So if you were just watching me through that first round, let's do it together. Do it together on the right side again and then we'll go through the left side together. So opening up the hammock, you're gonna step into the back edge with both feet. So both feet are stepping here. So you've got lots of hammock in front of you. Option to take a little pretty pose here. You're gonna keep the hammock in your right fingertips, that front piece, bring it around the outside, through the center, into your other hands. And then you're gonna pull it all the way through. And hopefully it comes all the way through. This time, it's a little less graceful and that's okay. Reaching up high with that right hand, left hand's out wide, first shape. 
optional little shape 1.a. <laughs> Knee comes out wide. You're gonna bring your left toes into that piece of the fabric in your left hand. So left toes are gonna come on in. Bring the hammock to the front of the hammock. Bring the hammock to the, did I say that? Bring to the, the leg to the front of the hammock. So the foot is inside. Making sure the foot doesn't come out as well. So if you need to take the foot in a little bit, take your time now to do that. And this is our second shape. Press into the hammock, push it away. Keep reaching up. Gripping up nice and high with that left hand. We're gonna open up that right hand into a straddle. So you need to release the shoulders to the front and then just lift up that right heel a little bit. So we're creating more of a straddle shape through the hips. And you can release the right hand. Take a pretty pose. And again, gonna take a little split shape. So rotating the hips to the right. You can bend through the knees. So you're releasing through the hips and then rotating hips to the, to the right. Reach along through the right hand. Smile. Nice. And we're gonna come back into a straddle. Reach both hands overhead, thumbs face down. Coming back into a split shape and then press that right hip back. Just gonna open up the hammock a little bit. This is another shape. The left hand can release as the right hand stays gripping. Coming back into your straddle shape. So reach up, twisting hips back towards the front. Shoulders are gonna release to the back or left shoulder to the back. Being careful here because it does get tight on the waist. You're gonna start to lean back, reach up, release that right foot out of the hammock. Bring it to step in with the left. Keep hanging onto the hammock with your right hand. Your left hand's going to spring all of this hammock that's down underneath the glutes and open it up so it's pulling it across the belly. So then now all the hammock is up and above the chest. You're gonna lean back. It's gonna twist open to the other side. Your right hand's gonna grip your hammock overhead. Left hand's gonna, oh sorry, left leg is gonna release. You might grab your left ankle as that right hand oh, goes overhead. To so come out, chin into the chest, grab up. Slowly bring that left foot to the ground. Like it's gonna release. Take a moment to unwind. Now we'll take this into the other side. Opening up the hammock. We're gonna set both feet into the back edge. Come to standing. So other side. And that front edge, all the hammock is in front of you. The left hand's gonna stay gripping this time. Gripping onto the hammock edge. Bring it behind you and then through the center into your opposite hand. Grip up high with the left hand and open the hammock over the head. Right hand's gonna go up high. Eventually this will smooth out the more that you practice it. That's the first shape. And then maybe the knee goes wide, like a tree. And you're gonna get your right toes inside of that um, edge with your hands in it. It's gonna take a second. Get your leg on the front side. Nice and firm into the hammock. Nice. You can push the hammock edge away. Good. I'm gonna reach up a little higher, coming into a straddle type shape. So left leg's gonna lift up. You might lift up a little bit. Come into a straddle. Nice. You're gonna lean towards the left a little bit more. And then lift up through the hips. So you can rotate towards the left into more of a splits shape. Front splits. Nice. Reaching up with both hands, overhand grip. You see my toes are sort of coming out a little bit. So I'm gonna just take a moment to bring them back a little further into the hammock. So I've got more hammock around the toes, just in case you need that cue as well. Turning towards the left. Nice. Now press that left foot back as I lean the hips forward a little bit more. Right hand can release. 
Right hand reaches back up, back into a straddle shape. Nice. You're gonna turn towards the right. The right shoulder's gonna come to the back side of the fabric. You're gonna press down through that right foot, pull up and release that left foot. Bring it into the hammock to meet the right. All this hammock that's behind you or underneath you, you're gonna pull it. Pull it through over the belly so that it's on top of you instead of underneath you. And then we're going to switch our hand grip to that other one so that doesn't have legs in it. Left leg's gonna release. Right hand is over the head. Releasing. And coming out, reach up. Left foot to the ground, and then release the right foot to the ground as well. Coming all the way out. All the way out. And that is your class for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you went with it down in the comments below. Any questions, any feedback, let me know. Um, if you tried this and you took some photos, you took some video, this is a great way and tool to give yourself own feedback. So you can see, um, if your lines are straight, if you need to grip up higher or lower, that sort of thing. Um, share it with me on Aerial Yoga Life on Instagram and also use the hashtag AYL Insta Shapes so that I can see your practice as well. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, have a wonderful day. Yeah.